so for which examination you want to give as na sir uh, lecturer bpsc lecturer mechanical department bpsc lecturer have you prepared any topic yeah sir theory of machine subject so which is na uh, for which subject you want to give as na sir theory of machine you want to give us na for theory of machine yes sir yes okay just uh, tell me the difference between the governor and a flywheel So the main difference between the governor and flywheel is that in flywheel uh, the function of the flywheel to store the energy and when the mechanical energy is more than the requirement during the operation and supply when the available energy is less than the requirement whereas uh, the function of the governor is to regulate the fuel su uh, supply according to the load condition and the difference between the different types of a governor why we use the spring control governor as compared to the dead weight governor yes yes and just differentiate between the various types of a governor yes sir one is first one is a pendulum type pendulum type governor that is the watt governor after that the dead weight governor and the water governor and probably governor after that the one is a spring control governor that is a hardener pickering hardener that type of governor. what is the main difference between the spring type uh, controlled governor just like a hartnell governor and a potter and a provel what is the uh, main yes. difference why we use that sorry sir one thing i know the uh, that sir uh, um, the friction force is always uh, added to the uh, uh, slip of the mass in case of the uh, spring controlled governor but uh, in that case of the provel potter in that case it can be we what do you mean by coefficient of uh, coefficient of speed yes yes sir coefficient of fluctuation of speed kya hota hai mera sir repeat again sir what you asked what do you mean by coefficient of fluctuation of speed coefficient of the fluctuation of the speed yeah sir uh, i think sir it is the extent of the slip movement Uh, for the change in the speed of the governor what do you mean by isochronous isochronous governor sir in the isochronous governor the speed of the governor is remains constant at all radius of the rotation what do you mean by hunting hunting sir it uh, instantaneous instantaneous uh, fast uh, to and fro motion of the sleeve between the stopper too fast uh, to and fro motion of the slip in between the stopper is known as the hunting what do you mean by coriolis acceleration can you define ki uh, how can we it can be applicable on which condition we can apply the coriolis acceleration yeah sir when we, let we consider one uh, uh, crank uh, crank and solotted lever mechanism in which uh, let suppose one is solotted bar in which one slider is and the uh, if your slider uh, is sliding with the velocity v and the uh, uh, solotted bar is rotating with the omega velocity angular velocity then the coulomb uh, component is uh, equal to that 2v into omega in the perpendicular direction of the uh, perpendicular on the uh, solotted bar okay and just tell me a different type of inversion of a single slider crank chain yes sir Yes. Uh, sir, with uh, with what you written uh, return mechanism, rotary uh, IC engine, and uh, one is rotated bar. Hey, which yes, element you are going to fix and which mechanism crank. you will obtain? Sir, okay. if we crank, if we crank, uh, fix the crank, then we get the uh, with what you written mechanism, rotary IC engine, and if we are uh, fixing the connecting rod, then we are getting the oscillating uh, oscillating cylinder and. Uh, 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 and also, at that time, we are getting the crank and solotted lever mechanism, the tube return mechanism, and when we are uh, fixing the slider, then we are getting the hand pump. Okay. What do you mean by if I just going to fix? I uh, mean, we have if if we have a two slider, yes, not a single slider. So in this in this case, what type of inversion are possible? Uh, sir, elliptical tremors when we are uh, uh, fixing the solotted bar, and after. Uh, solitated bar not sir outside uh, member i think so i don't remember that name after that fixing the uh, slider then we are getting the scotch yoke mechanism 
after fixing the connecting which are connecting the two ladder if you fix that road then we are getting the old arms coupling what do you mean by grass of slope So, uh, Grissop uh, law states that uh, for a continuous rating motion between the links, for a mechanism, then the uh, sum of the shortest and the longest link must be less than or equal to the rest of the two. Okay. Can you just define me what do you mean by degree of freedom? Yes, yeah, sir. Simply, we can say that the number of input required to get a desired output, or we can define it as the minimum number of independent variable required to define the motion and position of the system. Uh, let us assume that there is a one ball, a one spherical body. This is going to be yes. roll on a surface. Yes, sir. Plane surface, roll on a plane surface. So, what is the degree degree of freedom of that system? Sir, that two. What is the degree of freedom? How much will it be? Sir, two. Degree of freedom two will be. Yes, sir. Are you sure? Can you explain me why? Sir, uh, uh, Roll because the number two input are required for uh, get a desired output. One is translation and another one is rotation as the input in that case. What is the degree of freedom of a space if any element lie in a space? Yeah, six. Sir. Six. So how can you say here that only two here because it's also lying in a space, na? No? Yes. Sir. Can you just uh, tell me the degree of freedom of a epicyclic gear train? Two sir, two. Two, why? Yeah, sir. Because sir, in if we set the gear train, one gear is can be rotated about the one axis, and it can be rotated by the uh, another gear which is connected to the that axis. That's But, why. What do you mean by compounding of the gears? Compounding of the gears. Um. Sir, I am not sure, uh, but I think sir, so when number of uh, gear are connected in the same shaft, uh, same shaft. If two gears are going to be uh, transmit the power from one, one end to each other, have, yes, sir, yes, sir. Then the uh, if they have a module different or same, and why? Yeah, module is same, sir. Remain same. Yes, sir. If they are connected to each other. What do you mean by backless? Backless, I think, sir, backless is due to the thermal expansion of the gear, the gap which is produced between the two gear due to the thermal expansion, and that is the difference between the involute and a cyclodial profile. Sir, uh, in the involute gear, uh, uh, it is the locus of the point uh, on the straight line which rolls without slipping on a straight line, uh, on a fixed circle. Sorry. Whereas is a cyclo, uh, is cyclo. The locus of the point on the circumference of the circuit, which rolls without slipping in a straight line, and uh, in. Uh, thank you. I am just going to uh, talk about the in the in the terms of uh, pressure yeah, angle. Yeah. So, yes. what will what will what is the effect of pressure angle in the case of an involute and the cyclo? Yeah, yeah. Sir, in case of the uh, if it again, uh, a pressure remains, a pressure remains constant in case of the involute, whereas in case of the uh, in case of cyclotropic pressure is varies. At the uh, at the end at the point of contact is pressure angle is zero, and uh, at the start of engagement or displacement the pressure is maximum. Okay. Can you just tell me the different types of a gear? Uh, on the basis of their shaft axis. Yes, sir. Classification of uh, gears. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. When the teeth are straight and parallel to the axis of the rotation, then it will be the spur gear. And if teeth are straight and inclined to the axis of the shaft, then it will be the helical gear. And if the uh, shaft is uh, uh, not parallel but intersecting in the coplanar, then it is pebble gear. And if the shaft is neither intersecting uh, nor a parallel, then it will be uh, a spiral gear. Right? What is the difference between the helical and the helimoge gear? Sir, uh, yes, yeah, sir. In the helical gear, uh, there is impact stresses. Uh, impact, uh, yes, yeah, sir. Right? Axial stress. Axial stress. Axial stress. Uh, 
इन केस ऑफ हेलिकल गियर सर एक्सेल थ्रस्ट हां या सो एंड फॉर दैट टू टू रिमूव द एक्सेल थ्रस्ट वी आर यूज्ड द स्ट्रॉन्ग बीरिंग इन दैट केस ऑफ हेलिकल गियर बट इन हैरी एम इन हैरी वे गियर डबल हेलिकल गियर दैट इज डबल हेलिकल टू रिमूव द एक्सेल थ्रस्ट वी आर यूजिंग द आई थिंक सो सर डबल हेलिकल गियर और हैरी बोट गियर Okay, so I will just give you the feedback, Amit. Uh, okay. Overall, you are a good. There is no issue, है ना? आपका जो interview लगा मुझे अच्छा लगा. You have a good knowledge about that. But little bit, I think some revision for required. जहाँ पर आप थोड़े थोड़े confusion हो रहे हैं. बाकी overall you yes, are a good. There is no issue. मतलब if I were to just give the rating, you are just uh, get the eight uh, uh, out of ten. Okay, oh, so there is no issue. Just prepare the other subject yes, because your uh, theory of machine is good. Yes, yes. Little bit अगर छोटे बड़े जो confusion हो रहे हैं वो बस थोड़ा सा देख लोगे एक बार तो हो जाएगा. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. अब yes. interview आपका. Sir, ये date तो अभी दिया हुआ है तीन से नौ January sir. Okay. ठीक है. अभी तो काफी time है. दे सकते हैं. हाँ sir. हाँ sir. चलिए okay. Thank you so much. Thank you sir. Bye.